What is up everyone, um, Trogador here and I'd like to finally welcome you back to Let's Play Morrowind with me Trogador. <laughs> um, it's been a good, oh god I don't even know, definitely over three weeks since I made my last part. Um, the reason being I was on holiday and I've just got back and I've started my recording again so uh yes i believe just to uh before i start i suppose just a number of things that i'd say that i didn't get around to before i left i mentioned at the start of the video no i mentioned at the end of part 31 that i'd make a video explaining why i couldn't upload and stuff and the, the reason was uh that I thought I would have been able to record while I was on holiday, but the reason, but I found out I couldn't, and so I was gonna make a video saying I'm sorry, there's not gonna be any parts whatsoever for the time being, but uh, and I was also gonna say, you know, just the usual. I hope you <laughs> stay, uh, keep watching and whatnot, and wait patiently, <laughs> I suppose, but uh, I'm actually really happy because I, I came back and I now have as of me recording this um, I have 90 subscribers which um, is definitely more than what I left with but I, 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 I didn't take note of how many subscribers I had before I left but I know it was definitely not as much as 90 so I get uh, this whole video I also guess is a welcome to all my new subscribers um, Thank you for subscribing, and uh, I hope you enjoy uh, my Let's Plays. Uh, specifically Morrowind at the moment, and of course Baldur's Gate when it comes. Which is getting there. <laughs> I say getting there every time, and uh, trust me, it is coming. Um, I'm back now, we're gonna start testing, recording and whatnot, get it all sorted out. Um, so. I think, yeah, that was all really, I also found out that I now have over 10,000 total upload views, so I can't thank all all my subscribers enough for uh, all their views and comments and whatnot. It's been really great so far, um, absolutely not even great, it's been fantastic, really had fun uh, doing everything. So uh, yes, pleasantries out of the way, um, <laughs> let's get on with the Let's Play, uh, let's see, so I believe... The last time we came to Caius, because we'd finished the quest about the Nerevarine prophecies. Yes, I remember that. And he gave us he was he was uh, he gave us another quest. And let's I'm just gonna read this here. The spy the spy master has sent me to find a sixth house base near Narmok. There I must kill a sixth house priest. Yes, yes, and bring the spy master a full report. And I need to speak to the champion at Fort Buckmouth, and then, yeah, and how to, how to on, need to speak to her about how to get to it. I think as he as he put it, it was an infiltration mission, which is why I was quite intrigued about it. <laughs> so, I guess the first uh, order of business is to get to Fort Fort Buckmouth. Um, I know he said that was near Narmok. Um, Narmok is that? No, it's Genesis up there. Morgan Is it along the coast? There is Normok. Oh no, there's no oh, yeah, I thought there might have been a whole map point on it, but there's not. So No, wait a minute. No 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 no. Ah, the base is near Normok. This Fort Buck Moth isn't. So maybe I should talk no, wrong house. <laughs> I should probably talk to Caius and say, hey, where's Fort, Fort Buckmoth? Here we go. Fort Buckmoth Buck Moth is the Imperial Legion's garrison for the Redoran district. The fort lies south of Aldran. Okay. A short walk from Aldran's south gate, so that should be easy enough. Then I'll just get the uh, Silk Strider. Um, I also meant to say, yes, an another uh, question really to ask you guys is, I've, I think... I now have, or I've been given by YouTube, that uh, I'm now able to upload videos longer than 15 minutes per video. Um, so I was quite happy with that. So really, my question to 
to all my subscribers is I'm aware that I've been uploading videos in this kind of uh, part one of three, two, three, and three, three fashion. Um, would you then prefer me just to upload one continuous video, well, one whole video of the whole let's the whole session just at once, or would you prefer the split up version? I don't, I don't know if it would benefit you or you would find it easier with just one video. I thought with one video it might be a quite imposing because I know with one of three or with splitting up into three people are able to you know watch each part at their own leisure and, and then with one long video they might have to find what part they left off at. I don't know if people have the time to watch the whole session at once but uh, let me let me know um, if you prefer for me to keep splitting it up. Uh, I personally do not mind either way. If <laughs> I did probably be a little bit easier for the one whole part um, since I don't have to edit in each uh, each part into three to find what part to split at and stuff. But uh, I, I'm honestly I, I can easily do either or so leave me a comment send me a message what you want what, what you'd prefer it, I would really appreciate it obviously I want to make the best uh, experience for all the viewers uh, okay so here we are at Fort Buckmoth and uh, we're here to talk to the champion uh, Shardik okay who are we talking to? Ryza Puglia Ryza Puglia okay so she's probably inside then probably maybe in some sort of throne. <laughs> uh, but I guess I'll have a look around. First time I met you. Oh, here she is. And she's not turning around. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, okay. What may I do for you? you may tell me. Oh, I'm at the unicorn. Silly me. Uh, let's. Okay, here we go. Hello, Trogador. Do you wish to talk more about the sixth? Yes, I do. So tell me about it. Only one trooper returned. He died soon after, horribly disfigured with cor corpus disease. Oh, sounds nasty. And out of his wits, in his ravings, he spoke of a cavern on the coast. He called it Elunibi. Uh, it's not on our maps. Try asking the locals in Narmok. They fought, they fought with cultists and disfigured man beasts. Uh, corpus monsters, I think. They fled the attackers and got lost in the caves. Then they ran into a half-man creature named Dagoth Gears, hmm. This Dagoth Gears slew the rest of the patrol but spared the one trooper. He told the trooper he was being spared so that he might tell others that the sleeper awakes. Ooh. And the sixth house has ri risen and Dagoth Ur is the Lord and I am his priest. And all will be one with him in the flesh. Okay, Ooh, sounds kind of heavy. <laughs> I see. The trooper awakened outside the caves and returned here. We couldn't recognise him and he didn't respond to questions. He just kept rambling on like a madman until he died. Oh. Okay. So yeah, just about normal. Okay. Ill Illunami. Um, that's what the dead trooper called the sea where he found the sixth house base. It's not on our maps. And no one here has heard of it. Maybe the locals in Narmok can tell you where to find it. Or you may have to search for it yourself. Okay. So... I guess I'll just take. A, a, um, I'm trying to think. Of, I'm trying to think of the best way of getting up to Narmok. Let's see if I can find it. I guess it's down here, wasn't it? Yes, yes. Um, I don't know. Maybe I have a. Oops. Just trying, trying to get used to my marks. That I've got, or no, hockey. Sorry, not my marks. Mark and recall. Maybe I have one too, Narmok. Mm, no. Do not. Okay, so I guess I'm trying to think. Of, I guess I could just walk there. I could explore this type of area here. In fact, I think I'll do that. Okay, so I just keep heading in this direction. Then I suppose, yeah, should be easy enough. Oh, change back into my ebony curus to pretty much double my armor rating. Yeah. So, uh, I also. I've gained, because I, I know that I'm only doing one single player and one multiplayer game at a time in my let's plays, but I've also I've gained a number of uh, other games, I'm not sure if any of you have been on Steam, but uh, over summer they have this <laughs> uh, massive sale called the Steam 
summer sale. Kind of, <laughs> kind of self-explanatory. But uh, I purchased a number of games in that. Uh, which I maybe might just, you know, do maybe some quick gameplay videos of or something. Maybe if I'm, if I'm feeling uh, different instead of just instead of Morrowind or Baldur's Gate when it comes, uh, just for a change. I'm just trying to think what I got. I got they were these were all dead cheap. I got Neverwinter Nights Two was one I was quite interested in. I actually was thinking of maybe doing that for uh, my next let uh, single player let's play. But then I do have, uh, I think, like Deus Ex and The Witcher were the other two in my mind. But uh, so I wasn't sure whether to, whether to hold off on that or not. Um, but yeah, I guess you as well let me know because I really am up for anything. <laughs> um, I think, what else did I get? I got oh my goodness, well oh, that was close. He almost killed me. I got Terraria. That's one that I might do for just maybe a couple of gameplay videos, just kind of uh, showing off my house and stuff in my world, as they call it, because uh, I've been playing that quite a bit. I think I'm about three hours in now, and I'm, I'm actually getting quite addicted to it. I must say, it's a it's quite a fun game. I don't know if any of you played it. It's a, a 2D side-scrolling RPG type sandbox game. It's really it's similar to Minecraft and. Uh, it's it's pretty nice. I I was in, I was definitely enjoying it. So maybe I'll show you that one time. <laughs> I also picked up the Hitman collection. Um, I think that, that I I I thought that might have actually worked well for a let's play. I played the first in the series, um, but I picked it up on Steam purely so that it make it easier for me to have instead of carrying the disc. About or well, I, when I say that, I mean if I ever reinstall or if I'm on the move or whatever going away I can play it and stuff but uh, where's that I can right. I can, no I can't fly I can fly <laughs> but uh, I thought that might be good because I know that Hitman is a, definitely a game where there's a lot of different ways of doing or carrying out the assassination so I thought that might have been good maybe get, maybe I could ask people what they would like to see see me uh, do it a specific way or just will like or they could see maybe they've played it and they want to see how I play it, I don't know. I just thought it might be just a fun idea. But uh, they, they were they were probably the main things I got. I think the other things I got no that was that was it. I think I got uh, San Andreas yeah but that I didn't I didn't really think that would be good for any uh, like a let's play. Very adult orientated, and I don't know if any of my viewers are quite young or whatnot. But uh, anyway, here we are in Narmok, so I guess I'll continue with this. Uh, oh, you don't trust me. No. I'll continue with the quest. Um, so, really, for now, just asking locals if they know about these caverns. So, this guy knows, apparently. Angelos knows. Elunabe Elun Caverns, that's what they call the old sea cave up north. Up on the north end of the island, right on Cartag Point. Don't be talking. Don't be poking your nose in there. Someone might object. Okay. So I yes, Cartag. What did he say about Cartag Point? He said something about an orc building something. Well, I guess the new statue is about even for an orc sculptor. Yep, yeah, that was me. <laughs> oh, that was that was a fun quest and got gold brands. Pretty damn good weapon. So he said, Illinois. Did he say up north? That's what the, the wait angles here we go. I was thinking that's not what she said, but no, what he said here is sea cave up in the north end of the island, right on Carter Point. Okay, so I think actually I don't know. Maybe I've been in this before. I I was certain when uh, I came up to Carter Point and I went in a cave. Hmm. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just remembering things. <laughs> maybe I'm remembering it from another part of the game, but. If it's something near car tag point, you know, at least we've got a location, it shouldn't be too difficult to find. But, uh, there, well, there's the statue there. Beautiful, beautiful statue. Well done, Mr. Ark. <laughs> and so it was a s right in the coast, he said. Oh, there's a boat down here, maybe. Maybe this can give us some clues. Uh, 